hi guys welcome back to another one of my videos and today we are carrying on the premier league team reviews and i'm pretty sure this is number nine so we're getting quite far into this and today next up on our list is leeds united and so this looks like a decent formation you know how this works already by the way so this looks like a decent formation so i'm gonna go ahead and swap some players around for instance I know maybe people might disagree with me there. That's all right. Lorente. I am kind of a... I know. Ignore me there, by the way, sorry. All right, so that's a pretty decent squad there. Some decent players in the starting lineup and on the substitutes bench. So the reason I've kept Rafina on the substitute bench is because... Um, I know he's like younger than Costa and stuff, but I prefer Costa as a player. Just that's just my personal preference. But majority of people, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. People are gonna play, play Rafinha instead because he's probably better. Let's be honest. But we'll start off with the goalkeeper, like always, and a decent young fella here in Melier, twenty years old. I know he's less rating than Garcia, but Garcia's thirty four, getting on a bit. You could play Cassie, I could see the argument there, but Melier for me is just an all round better goalkeeper. And he's definitely a player to sign in any other career mode if you're definitely looking for a young keeper there. 20 years old, 70 rating. He did really well when Leeds came up to the Premier League last season. Yes, his weak foot isn't the greatest, and you might want to look to improve that. Um, his goalkeeping stats aren't the best. He's mainly better at his diving and reflexes as opposed to his. He's more, he's less of a sweeper keeper and more of an actual keeper. He's got the goalkeeper long throw key uh, trait there as well. So a decent keeper, and then you move to the back four or back five, you could say. But left back is Dallas, obviously, one for the history books really in Leeds United's history books in particular. Twenty nine years old, he's still doing well at the club. Seventy four years old, you could play Ali Oski instead, who is just one year younger than him. Uh, and he's definitely got the pace that uh, uh, a fullback needs because the fullback does need pace to get up and down the pitch pretty quickly. Less so than a wing back, but still does need that pace. But Dallas, there, as you can see, just a little bit slightly better if I compare these two. Uh, actually, Alioski looks slightly better, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put Alioski on there as well. Yeah, actually acceleration jumping pretty good how, how is his jumping so good for a small player i don't know actually how tall he is he's a solid player and a long shot taker so that's a decent left back there cooper the captain liam cooper only two star skill moves and two star weak foot but for a center back you don't really need that you need good physical and defending which he has got decent jumping and strength which you, which you need for heading the ball away uh, good awareness there, slide tackle as well, decent. So just an all-round good defender. He has got the injury prone, but he also has got leadership and team players. So they probably cancel that out. I can see the argument for playing Lorente, probably less so struck. But I can see the argument for playing Lorente because he's probably better all-round. But Cooper is the captain and he's got the leadership trait as well. Just to keep the Leeds United's morale up there. So I'll just do the CDM here as well definitely definitely should be on the england team by now calvin phillips is the next one uh 75 interceptions 77 composure 82 jumping 85 stamina and 81 strength that is very good uh 84 aggression there i can't remember where I was, whether i said that but calvin phillips should definitely be on the england team by now he's such a good youngster 24 years old i don't know whether you could really class him as a youngster now a days but 77 rating is nothing to sniff at and he's definitely a player worth signing in another career mode but you'll definitely want to keep him along with melier in a leeds united career mode so we'll move over to the other center back now robin cock or Koch, or however you want to say it, Robin Cock or Koch, however you want to say it, but that's definitely not going to be the last time I say that, and anyone else says that, so, you know, new signing, um, a decent, he's also, he's a bit like Phillips, they're the same age, 
Uh, Phillips obviously won better rating and probably better going forward. But Cock obviously, they're a good player. And a decent signing for Leeds. I, st I did start a Leeds United career mode and he was doing pretty well. Uh, better than the other centre-back, Cooper. Because I ended up selling Lorente on that. Um, but yeah. So then we move over to the right back, Luke Ayling. He scored a worldy last season, an absolute worldy. Uh, 29 years of age, 75 rating. You won't want to get rid of him in the first season, I wouldn't think, but maybe when he gets to the 30 mark, he might decide. He's also got the leadership trait there, but once he get, hits the 30 and starts decreasing a little bit more down to the 74 and 73, you might start to look for a new one, especially if you manage to keep Leeds United in the Premier League. So now we'll move over to left mid, Jack Harrison. What a player this is. Uh, I know he's only on loan, so at the end of his loan spell, you might want to try and get him uh, back from Man City or try a permanent deal while he's still on loan because you might be able to get him for a little bit cheaper. But I played one season in my Leeds United career, and when after, after his loan spell ended, he was 78 rating. So you want to try and get him on a permanent deal there and you, you want to keep him at the club for further further seasons because he's only 23 years of age as well. Look at some of them stats. Acceleration, agility, balance, stamina, sprint speed. He's just a very good wide player there. Ball control, crossing, dribbling. And he's also got the finesse shot which is good for cutting inside and tapping it into the far corner. So that's a, that's good. That, mu that much is good there. Um click here as well as you can see maybe not the greatest player 30 years old 74 rating if i was doing a career mode he'd be one of the first players i look to replace you could probably play for sure or roberts there as well but i wouldn't you could play jamie shackleton i just want to point out somerville here 19 years old 68 rating he has the potential to go all the way and become uh who plays on the right wing that's good the next Hakim Ziyech or the next I don't know someone along them lines I can't really think today but he has the potential to go all the way there uh then we move over to Pablo Hernandez he might decide he's not the best I know he's 35 years of years old uh, he he had decreased to about 72 71 at the end of the first season for me so he's definitely someone you want to take out i ended up buying john joe shelby and looking back it probably wasn't the best signing but all in all he didn't do too bad john joe shelby form in me in that first season of that career mode so he he has been a very key part of leeds united plans in previous seasons but now i think he's getting a bit too old so he might miss his time in the premier league he's still got very very good stats there and some decent uh stats uh traits and celebrations and stuff there uh, he's very good at dribbling and passing. Pretty good at shooting as well. But I'd probably look to buy a new one, to be fair. Uh, we'll move over to the right, and then we've got the striker as well. So the right is Helda Costa, 26 years old. Yes, Rafina, 23 years old. Just better all round, you would think. But Helda Costa, for me, is what Leeds are all about. Just decent... Pace, look at his pace up at the my in the mind map up at the top there. Sprint speed, very good. Acceleration, agility. Pace is 86. Uh, also, look at his dribbling. That's all you want from a wide player. As you can see, Rafina's pretty good at pace and dribbling as well. Less so at shooting. His pace is actually 91. That's even better. But, you know. Costa is my main man in this Leeds career, man. You can get him up pretty... So a pretty decent rating, probably to 77, maybe 78. Not after the first season, but maybe definitely after the second. Then the probably the probably the signing of the summer, really. Rodrigo, what a player this is. I know he's 29 years old. I think he signed from Valencia, didn't he? 82 rating. Um I mean, Bamford is doing pretty well in real life in the Premier League season, but in FIFA he's probably not gonna be as good as Rodrigo. And in a Leeds United team, if you've got an 80-rated guy, you're going to put him in the team, with the exception, for me, with Rafina. 
But for me personally, Rodrigo is just so good up front there. Uh, and then Macarimo, when I was playing him, he was just running past absolutely everyone and just tucking it home every time. Dribbling, shooting, passing, pace. Look at that pace. That's positioning, acceleration. His pace and dribbling suggests that he's more of a winger, which is weird. But striker, ugh, let's be honest, he's just such a good one there for this Leeds United squad. Uh, so I'd definitely re recommend doing a Leeds United career. You've got some very good players in there. Obviously, you'll have to strength in the in, in the likes of this centre mid positioning position. Maybe the uh, centre back and maybe the right back position as well. But all round, you won't have to do make make too many signings because then it becomes a little bit unrealistic and it, it doesn't really sum up what Leeds are all about. But I think that's where we're going to end it for today's episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying these FIFA 21 team reviews. And obviously next it's going to be Leicester and then we're halfway. And then we've got a bunch of good ones, Liverpool, Man City and Man United to come. So stay tuned and I'll see you next episode. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. Hit the like button as well. And just all in all, just have another great day. I said it yesterday. Have another great day.